Let's deploy is the uh, captain, the stand-in captain for James Vince for Southern Brave. He has won the toss and has decided to uh, field first. Welsh Fire will be led out of the Southern Brave team and support staff. But here he is, Johnny Bairstow. Ashes hero for England in their uh, stunning comeback against Australia. Well, it did swing and it swung right onto the middle of the bat of Steve Eskenazi. He uses his feet, he knows a little bit of curve away swing, gives himself some room and gets a perfect connection. Field is all in on the offside. And he does it again. Right on cue, he does it again. It's been a short stay for Johnny Bairstow trip down the m4 has been an unfruitful one for him with the bat in hand appearance in the capital of wales hasn't gone to plan overton bowling a heavy length into the pitch bairstow looking to launch him over the top gets high up on the bat snick can gone garton does it again what a start this is for the brave Held its line, it stayed across, it was a half volley. Clark wanted a piece of it, and he got a piece of it, but it was out of the edge of the bat. And it's a very good catch there. Taken by Conway. The Braver smiling. Good score might be after a start like this. Short ball. <laughs> Mills is done down there. He's almost... I've got the turtleneck on to just pull it in a little bit so you can get the bat through. He just gets that little dip of the head, get it out of the way because it was homing in at the badge on his helmet. And keep going. Yeah, it's a flat line, no bat involved. Rob Bailey was correct. It's incredible, isn't it? From our position. Nick that one. He definitely nicked that one. And it's gone away for four. Nicked and gone. That is an absolute beauty from Overton. And he nicks off his Somerset captain. Grips on the surface and nips away and Abel. Just tries to fence at it with a slightly open face and just a feather through. The slight angle is what makes you have to think about playing straighter and then you follow it off. Uh, yeah. Please. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? That he is in the field does this. Power play done. 21 for three. And taxi for Garden. White ball format. <laughs> Got a tickle, but there is protection. Yeah, let's just have a look at the field here for Matt Fish. Well, he's picked that one up. Just got a little bit leg side, and Phillips has uh, picked up a nice boundary there. So 30 balls done, 28 on the board. straight into the action and the brave are on top here that's enough to come in glenn phillips looking to cut a ball that was too close to him because of his flat batted nature of batting gets that nick and a simple catch to devon conway the easier of the catches that's come to him today picked up he's nailed that bang and uh, something finally to cheer for the local crowd 
the offside, this one slightly short. And pulling it over Tim David at midwicket, who's just standing there and watching the ball sail over his head. And again, more intent to finish that set. So drill down the ground and a really nice shot there. So 50 balls gone. Tim, thank you so much for your time. And at the halfway stage, uh, the Welsh Fire have 50 runs on the board. Drop shot, no damage. Yeah, it is a tight game. Very, very tight. You were there. You almost had it till that last over. Stand a chance and shots like that. And it's in the air. Drop shot by Garten. And David really rocks back and hits it down the throat of deep square leg. It's good, this inning's going into the wicket, no timing. And it's a smart catch there from Craig Overton. Low, diving to the left. Just dipping on him in the last minute. Only 23 balls left. Make that 22. Back of the bat. And out. There's Deploy, the stand-in skipper, has rolled and held on to that one. That's the end of Eskenazi, and the wickets continue to fall. Running in front, George Garton gets his third wicket, and he's bowled really well. Steven Eskenazi has had a rather laboured stay at the crease. Goes length, and the ball lands safely in the hands of Weatherly. Out there at point, another wicket falls for Welsh Fire. Another one of the men who might be able to ignite something at the back of the innings departs. Really well at the boundary, but hasn't got a catch it. And here he goes, the first one, rule of random over. Trying to go for the big one. Joe Weatherly gets in the way of that. See the game from a different perspective and it and improves also get the your game and then get the blessings of Mr. Mark Butcher as well. <laughs> Slow ball and gone. Rayan Ahmed clings on a backward point. Cuts one straight to Rehan Ahmed. Came at an awkward height, but he found a way to hold on to it in a rather simple manner. I reckon that was a little tougher than what it looked. Might have had a little bit of dip on it. Chips went in the air. Les Deploy does the rest. There's three for Mills. And this is uh, going from bad to worse. Mills bowling his fourth slow one on the bounce and gets him his second wicket of this five. Simple catch to Lewis Deploy, third in the day. Bowling from Tamil Mills. Good bow fielding by the Southern Brave fielders. Welsh fire. Oh, it's going to be a hat-trick. It is going to be a hat-trick. Imran Tahir is the only other man to have one in the 100. Shabnam Ismail got one on Thursday for Welsh Fire. But Tamal Mills has a hat-trick. Yeah, that uh, back-of-the-hand slower ball is more than good enough for batters of much higher quality than David Payne. Finn Allen makes absolutely no mistake. That smile tells you all you need to know. Another professional hat-trick for Tamar Mills. And that is uh, Welsh Fire's worst. Oh, and again, a cheeky inside edge. Wasn't convincing for Phil Annam, but it brings up the first boundary of the innings. I used to swing it. And even though the batters know where it's going, it's still very difficult to play. On this occasion, inside edge passed. The stumps and the fire are going to need every bit of luck as well as skill to get themselves back in. Well, he's got a little bit short there, and Finn Allen has just bullied that, flat batted in front. David Willey feeling his way into this set of five and doesn't start with a good delivery here. It's a hit me ball, just back of a length, not much pace onto it. And it gets latched onto by Finn Allen very quickly indeed. He's being cheeky, he's being so cheeky. That is a maximum that he's just got down onto his knees and given a shovel over the shoulder. A fine leg, he's earned that ball again. Will he bowl in a little bit fuller? Phil Annan gets across, rolls on his right knee onto his backside. 
gets contact and with the wind as you just see the way that he maneuvers that ball around and he's gone up and over he's taken a chance got just enough to get another boundary so phil allen on the charge 10 balls gone 70 needed another way to finish a set that builds your confidence as a batter and really kicks you as a field inside gets a bit of luck he goes all in looks to launch it up over extra <laughs> He is having some fun. He moved late, but he shimmied enough to get something on it. I think you've got to have the reactions of a cat to try and get yourself into the play that. You see it coming in one position, you predict it's going to be on the leg side, and then it's angled across, and you've got enough skill, reaction time to change the bat angle and ramp it up. Tickled around the corner, and that is not going to help the Duckworth Lewis score for the Welsh Fire, but it will for the Southern Brave. Devon Conway getting into the action with the boundary. Shot, bold at the hip, and just that little swivel, not much foot movement, just a little transfer of weight. Just brings that bottom hand in around and just pulls it round the corner. And again, another boundary, this time just tickled away. Frustration there, just drifting onto the leg for Ralph. His line right, ball before was helped down the leg side. Conway again, doesn't have to do a lot to just ride the ball down. Width, and even though it was slightly uppish for a moment, that has raced and skidded on a wet surface. Boundaries coming back to back here. Well, Phil Allen is just powering that straight down the ground. Not easy to grip, but I tell you what, that was easy to hit. Game at all. It's not a bad ball, but Allen is feeling confident. He knows there's not going to be a lot of spin. The spinner can't grip the ball. The pitch isn't turning. Better by holding the leather. Oh, that one has not come out right here. It may be expensive. It's definitely gone for a boundary. Will it be a wide? Yes, it's four wise this is not good here for the welsh fire form like this you want to get back on strike <laughs> stepping out and straight to long one he just said finn allen is just going to put the foot on the accelerator well he did but this one went straight to long on david willie takes a straightforward catch there damage has already been done from phil allen there just charging down the wicket but couldn't get enough of it inside half of the bat can't get the elevation it's a simple catch to David Willey. Short ball, Devon Conway gets to the deep square leg. And just a single on that occasion. Ooh. Pulled! Between mid-wicket and mid-on. Statement of sorts from Devon Conway. From David Payne. And it's just whipped away. Freeze the arms up and over, mid-wicket. Beautiful shot from Devon Conway. Great culture to the team. Another one flicked between mid-wicket and mid-on. Yet again to the boundary. This one far more orthodox, not in the air, along the ground. Lewis deploy at his back. In at the pads, and most left-handers are not going to miss out there. Just time to perfection. Into the gap. And Uh, that is the first one into the river tap. Full toss and dealt with as it should be. Yeah, juicy full toss from the part-timer Glenn Phillips and Lewis Deploy is not going to miss out on that. That is a massive hit. And as Kumar says, it's in the tap. 112 metres, Tavi. And that's pulled away, the boundary of the last ball. The Southern Brave have chased down this total comfortably. They have outballed the fire and they've outbatted them. It all started with the Seamers for the Southern Brave. And Conway, Finn Allen and Duploy have all had a hand in finishing the game off and walking away with an all-important win.